Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Lily Lace bracelet and this was designed by Hazel Looms on Instagram. Um, she was previously known as Hazel Loomer 2016 um, and I uh, uploaded a tutorial for her recently as well. Um, but I'll make sure to have her name in the description box below and yeah, I'll bring up her account here in just a second. Um, first I want to talk a little bit about the design. So you start off with a center chain, which is this mother of pearl, and then you will add um, these kind of rainbow Persian bands on the side. And this is basically the sheer bracelet, I think, or the center of the A Joy doubled bracelet. And then you add on another chain here and an outer chain. Um, so if you know how to make the sheer bracelet, that's pretty much what we're going to start with. Um, but anyway, let me bring up her profile. It's hazel.looms. There we go. Um, and I'll have her name in the description box below, but for now you can check out her account, like her photos, and give her a follow for me. And we'll go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want is a hook. You really don't need a double-ended hook, but if you want one you can, um, you can definitely use one. Um, and then you're going to want to start with the single chain, so hopefully you know how to make that. I already made my little section here. And we'll go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is grab your uh, bands for the rainbow Persian here. I'm only going, I'm not going to be doing like a rainbow. I'm going to actually just use burgundy bands. Um, so just make sure to stick that cap band on your hook like so. Then you'll take two burgundy bands. You're going to do a leaf stitch. So take this band and put it over top of this one. You're going to go underneath, over top, and underneath again. So it'll look like this. Then you'll pull this caramel band. Oops, dang it, I just messed that up. That's the kind of disadvantage to having a crochet hook is that it really doesn't hold your bands very well. So you're going to pull this caramel cap band through. And then before you close, you're going to go up and into this next chain here. And then Put this other burgundy band back on your hook, take a band and pull it through and close. So now you should have this. You're going to take another set of burgundy bands, do a leaf stitch, and then take this and just kind of be careful that your bands don't slip off and pull this, pull all of it over top and onto kind of that center burgundy band here. Then you're going to go up and into the next chain, which you might need to stretch out your bracelet. Go up into the next chain and put the other end of your burgundy band back on your hook. Then once you're there, you'll take another burgundy band through just that first loop. Then repeat the same process. Do a leaf stitch, pull this through everything on your hook. Before you close, I need to stretch out your bracelet again. Go up into the next chain, and then take another burgundy band through just that first loop. So now you kind of have a mirror on both sides. So I'm going to just continue the rest of this, and you can follow along if you need to. Um, otherwise, we can go ahead and skip ahead to um, the end and I'll show you how to close it off. So for my single chain I'm stopping here so I'm putting um, so I did the kind of leaf stitch and I pulled this through and then I stuck my hook through this uh, caramel band that was capped, or sorry, clipped, caramel band that was clipped. And now I'm going to do this and take my C-clip off, like so. And then I'll just take one last burgundy band and pull it through all six loops on my hook. So that's what it's going to look like. Then you can go ahead and clip that burgundy band again, just so that you don't lose it. 
and you should have something like this, but maybe a little bit longer than your wrist. Now what we're going to do is add the mother of pearl bands here on the side. And for that, I'm going to be using this chocolate chip uh, gold band, I guess. And what we're going to be doing is grabbing all of these um, kind of horizontal bands. So you're going to want to stick your hook right into here. And you're just going to grab that first band kind of from in between those two loops that goes horizontally. You'll take your gold band and just loop that on and close. Now you'll go up into the next one. You'll go in between these two loops here. Grab the other loop. Then take a gold band. And pull it through all three loops on your hook. You'll go up into the next one. Grab this band here in the middle. Pull a band through all three loops. So you're just going to continue this all the way up. Make sure that you grab the um, the burgundy band, the horizontal one, from in between the other two loops. And once you've reached the top, you'll just go ahead and pull, oops, pull one of these burgundy loops out of the C-clip. So once you've done your last band, you'll pull a burgundy band out of the C-clip or try to at least, not really having much luck. You'll pull both of those gold loops onto that band, reattach the uh, other side, and clip. So it'll look something like this. And now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side to even it out. So go into the side, grab that band again. It's the same band, it's just the other side. And then you'll just pull a single chain band through and do that all the way up to the end of your bracelet. Okay, so once you have done that and you've kind of grabbed all of those bands, you're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. Unhook one of those burgundy loops from the cap or the C clip. Pull both of those gold bands on and close. Then what you're going to do is reclip and pull that off. So you should have something that looks like this. You can pull your bands out or stretch them or kind of do whatever you need to do. But now we're going to be adding the last border here, which is this rainbow Persian again. And then what you're going to do, you're going to stick your hook through the side and you're going to grab this horizontal burgundy band. This is just for the first step. You're going to grab that horizontal burgundy band and pull one band through. And then you're going to go up into this next chain and you're just going to grab this first kind of gold Ish, this goldish, uh, goldish clear band, sorry I can't talk, and you're going to pull that out through the middle of those two loops. And the trick is to actually keep it on your hook, which I'm having a lot of trouble with today. I'm going to pull a band through all three loops and close, go up into the next chain, grab that band through, pull a band through all three loops and close. So you're basically making a single chain, but you're just grabbing this um, gold loop here. And then I'm not going to grab this last one inside of the C-clip. Instead, I'm just going to stick both of those C-clipped um, bands on my hook and take off the clip, pull one last band through these four loops, which you'll have the other side in there as well once we finish that, but 
I'm just going to pull that through and then reclip and we're going to do the same thing to the other side so again make sure that at the bottom you are grabbing this horizontal burgundy band but for the rest of the bracelet you're grabbing that gold band so you're going to grab this one right here it's the outermost loop pull that through the middle of the two bands and just continue all the way up until you reach the end of your bracelet Again, at the end, I'm not going to grab this band from inside of there. Instead, I'll just take this um, this band that I just C-clipped and pull these other two loops on. So now I have six loops in total. I'll close this off and reclip. So it will get kind of bunched up here, but um, if your bracelet is long enough, it won't really make that much of a difference. Um, but anyway, that's what it's going to look like, and this is what my full length braids looks like. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have Hazel Loom's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me, but for now, that is going to do it for this video, and I hope to see you next time.